Aroma is a custom firmware environment for your homebrewed Wii U, similar to Tiramisu but newer and better in almost every way, especially for anyone who plays Mario Kart Wii online, I'll explain later in the video. But first, I will walk you through setting up Aroma on your Wii U, along with explaining how it works and all the new perks that come with it. I think by the end of the video, you will understand why Aroma is going to overtake Tiramisu as the main Wii U environment. The only prerequisite to getting this new CFW on your Wii U is that you must have it homebrewed with Tiramisu already, because we're going to be using the environment loader which we use to get Tiramisu. So if you don't have your Wii U homebrewed, I do have guides in the description if you want to get started with that. In order to get started, let's take out our SD card from our Wii U and plug it into our PC. So starting off, we need to get all the files downloaded. All of these links will be down in the description. But starting off, we need to go to Aroma for your cafe. This is where we're going to get the main Aroma download. But when you get here, you can read that it's Aroma public beta. So this is not the full version, which means there are a lot of updates for this environment. However, you are able to update it directly on your Wii U very easily. I'll show you how to do that later in the video. But we can scroll down where you see download and all you got to do is select all of these boxes. But before we do, you can read this blog post here. This is just uh, a blog post from Michelle, the, develop the main developer. And this just gives you some insight onto what it is, how it works and sort of what's new. But I'll be doing my best to explain to you the important things in the video. And also, as you can see in the blog post, a big thanks to all of these people. Of course, this would not be possible without them. So. If you see your name on here, thank you very much for all the time and effort you put into the modding scene. But if we go back to the Aroma for Your Cafe page, we're gonna check all of these boxes. And then this will pop up. So as you can see, we have Nan Dumper, uh, Environment Loader, and Aroma all checked off. If you already have the Environment Loader, which you do, if you have Tiramisu, uh, it's just gonna update it if it needs updated. It'll look like this, which is the same process as Tiramisu, but it's for Aroma, look at that. So for the base, we're gonna click Download Payloads. We don't need to add anything. All the checks are good. Click Download, and we got a zip file. Uh, download Base Aroma, click on that one. We got Aroma Beta 16 right now. In the future, it may be newer. And if you keep scrolling down, you can see additional plugins and modules. So you have the option here to add these plugins right now onto your SD card. But again, I'll be showing you a page where you can get other plugins as well. And if you don't know what a plugin is, it's just sort of integrates an app to your custom firmware. So it makes it much easier to use. So as you can see, we've got Blue Bear uh, for Bluetooth controllers, SD Caffeine, I'm gonna add that one. That one is uh, something where you can play mods for your Wii U games. Screenshot plugin allows you to take screenshots, pretty cool. Uh, but you don't have to select any of these, but if you see any that interest you, you can check them or uncheck them. And all you gotta do is press download additional plugins and modules. So on that note, if you are interested in getting other plugins for Aroma, and you can always come back and do this after you set up Aroma as well, but I'm going to show you right now. You can go to the next link in the description. It'll take you to this GBA temp page here. It's just a, a compilation of plugins and apps. This is not official repository. If that is created in the future, I will have that linked instead. But for now, this is what we got. And it just has a list of all the plugins. And if you scroll past, it has apps as well. But again, you can always come back to this after you set it up. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go to the next link in the description and we'll take you to this GitHub page for the homebrew app store. We're going to grab the one specific for Aroma. So if you used my guide on homebrewing your Wii U for Tiramisu, you have the Tiramisu homebrew app store but we are going to grab the Aroma Homebrew App Store. And from there, you can just get apps directly on your Wii U. So just scroll down and we are going to grab this .wub file. That is the file format for Homebrew Apps for Aroma. And if you're interested in what WUB stands for, uh, back in the blog post, it says Wii U Homebrew Bundle. So WUB, fun fact. <laughs> but we're just gonna grab the .wub file and it'll download so with all of those downloaded, we can open up the SD card that we use to mod our Wii U. Here's what mine looks like. And then on the other side, I'm gonna open up my downloads. Now it's time to set up our SD card. And you do need an extraction software. I use WinWire, but you can also use 7-Zip. But the first zip file we're gonna open up is Environment Loader right here. And it's just gonna have a Wii U folder. We're gonna grab it and drag it to the root of our SD card. And we're just gonna replace the files in the destination. 
we can close that and I'm going to delete the zip file. We don't need it anymore. And now we're going to open up the aroma zip file. And again, we're just going to grab this Wii U folder and drag it onto the root of our SD card. Close the zip file. You can delete the zip file on your computer. And now we can grab our plugins for Blue Bear SD Caffeine if you got these. But if not, you can skip this. Another Wii U folder makes it very easy to set up the SD card. Grab it and put it on the root of your SD card. Close that and delete the zip file if you want. Now the only thing left is the App Store. So before we do that, we're going to go on our SD card, go into Wii U, and you should see an apps folder already. Go inside and you should see aromaupdater.wub. That came with the aroma download along with payload loader installer. But we're going to grab our app store wub that we downloaded and drag it into our apps folder we have open right now. And then I'll just delete my file on my computer. Don't need it. And that is it. So just a review on your SD card in your Wii U folder, you should have those apps that we threw in there. And if you go back one, you should see environments, go inside and you should see aroma. And this has all of your aroma related files inside, apart from the apps, of course. So if we go inside, you should see modules and plugins. Now plugins, that's where all of the plugins go. Big surprise. But if we go inside, you should see that it comes with some. Uh, including the region free gamepad and region free uh, everything. So, if there are any plugins that you want to get in the future, this is where you put them into Wii U, Environments, Aroma, and then Plugins folder. And now there is one last thing we need to do. We are going to go into Wii U, Environments, Tiramisu, Modules, Setup, and here you should see these files. We are going to right click on sigpatches.rpx and copy it go back one two three all the way till you see aroma here go inside aroma go to modules setup and we're going to paste that sigpatches file right here now this will just avoid certain issues in the future and uh, that is pretty much it we are ready to head over onto our wii u and get everything set up from there i'll meet you over there we need to get into the environment loader. Uh, if you have auto boot set on, power on your Wii U, hold the X button, and it'll get you to the environment loader. If I say auto boot and you have no idea what I'm talking about, then you just need to use the health and safety icon, hold X while you load it, and you can get it there. There we go. Now you have Aroma and Tiramisu. So once you're here, you should notice that Tiramisu is highlighted in yellow. Uh, that's because we have it set as default. So if you want to change your default environment to Aroma, go up on the D-pad so it is highlighted in blue and just press Y. And you should see that is now yellow. Now Aroma is our default loader. Press A on it. Go to Boot Selector. This is where you can choose to load straight into the Wii U menu, VWE menu, or VWE Homebrew channel. But we are going to load it into the Wii U menu. We need to set this as the default. So we are going to press Y, so that is highlighted in yellow, press A, and it should load into the Aroma custom firmware. Now the first thing you're going to notice, if you try to go into the Mi Maker to go to the homebrew launcher, as you would in Tiramisu, it will not work because that is no longer how you get to the homebrew launcher on Aroma. So in order to use your homebrew apps, they are actually integrated into the Wii U menu itself. So that is a big difference from Tiramisu to Aroma. So if I scroll over, you can see there are our homebrew apps. So as you can see, RPX files work and the web files we placed in there also work. The web files are the ones that are specifically meant for Aroma. So you get the icons that come with them, but the RPX, they're just old. They still work fine. You just get this Wii U icon. So this is a big difference compared to Tiramisu as you had to use the Mi Maker to access homebrew apps. That caused some problems, plus it used up the Mi Maker, which was annoying for some people. So this is a much better way to do it. And if you wanna have them all in one spot, just go and create a folder and you can call it the homebrew, homebrew channel. And then you can just throw all of your uh, homebrew apps in there. So that is one way to keep it a little bit more tidy. So there you go. You can access all your homebrew apps that way if you please. And then you can keep the good ones on the, the actual Wii menu. 
So now I'm going to explain how the plugins work. Automatically all of the plugins are already integrated and turned on, but now we need to access them if we want to turn them off or change the settings. So in order to do that, just go on the gamepad, hit the left trigger, down on the D-pad, and minus and it'll take you to this plugin configuration menu. So here you can access the settings for the plugins. As you can see, if you click on SD caffeine setting, you can enable or disable by cho choosing false. I'm gonna leave it on. You can go back, advanced settings, you can, you can kind of experiment on your own, but they are usually set up properly. Again, you can turn things on and off through here, but this is how you access your plugin menu. Just hit the home button to exit and you're back here. Again, if you are interested in getting more homebrew plugins or apps, you can go to that GBA temp page and download them from here. So for example, if you scroll and you see that you want Wii U time sync, just click on the link. It'll take you to the GitHub and you can download the WPS file and place it into your plugins folder, which I showed you earlier. And now I'm going to show you how to update your Aroma custom firmware directly on your Wii U. So you should see Aroma updater right here. We're going to load inside and you do need internet connection for this. Otherwise you have to update it the normal way by taking your SD card out. But hopefully your Wii U can connect to the internet. So it'll say welcome to the Aroma updater. Just press A to check for updates and it will go through all the latest versions you have. As you can see, all of mine are up to date. But if you do have out of date files, you can see over on my other Wii U that it does. And all you have to do is uh, press plus to update. It'll update your plugins as well. And it's just very, very convenient. And then it just restarts your console after updating. And that's it. It's that easy. And at the start of the video, I said Aroma environment is good for people who play Mario Kart Wii online. Now, the reason I say this is because I made a CTGP Revolution Wii U channel. So it's not on this Wii U, but it is on this one. And I use it every weekend when I stream CTGP fun rooms or just online. And it allows you to load to CTGP Revolution, which is on the VWii, straight from your Wii U menu. So it's very streamlined, nice and easy. And I do have a Aroma channel pack. These only work on Aroma. They are .wub files. But I will have a video on explaining how to set those up properly because there are some extra steps. So if you want to check that out, just check the link in the description and head on over there. And seriously, like Aroma is way better than Tiramisu especially with that CTGPR channel, because you cannot have that on Tiramisu, I'll tell you that much. And if you do run into any issues or have any questions about the Aroma environment, I will link the official Aroma Discord, where you can go and even talk to Mashell himself. And of course, I will also have my Discord linked below as well, if you wanna come hang out or ask questions there. And if you are interested in the best and most useful aroma apps and plugins i'm going to be making a video on just that in the future so click on it if you want to go check that out thanks for watching stay funky and happy modding